Come with me to HEB to taste test a bunch of your protein shakes. Muscle milk. Here's their plant-based version, cyanocobalamin. I don't even want to ingest this because of that. I'm gonna pass on this one. So I'm looking at the ingredients on the normal one. It's got carrageenan in it. Carrageenan has been linked to causing digestive issues. And there's other potential links with IBS and cancers. I'm not even touching this. I don't drink or eat anything with carrageenan in it. Premier protein, chemical artificial sweetener, and carrageenan. I won't touch it if it has carrageenan. That's a no for me. I won't drink these. Y'all asked about the owns. Seven grams of fat. 350 milligrams of sodium, three grams of carbs, okay, and 32 grams of protein. Got a lot of protein in here. Monk fruit, natural sweetener. Oh, and it's got spinach, kale, broccoli in it. Let's taste test. So I'm gonna try the chocolate. We'll see how it tastes. It's an okay taste. It didn't make me jump up and down, but it's not terrible. I'm okay with these. Yeah, let's do it. Win. <laughs> I'm changing my tune on the own shakes. I did a little research after I taste tested them. I'm upset that I actually taste tested them. They were pinged by the California ERC for a violation of Prop 65 for having a high lead content in their products. And they have not resolved it as far as my understanding is. I could be wrong. Own never put a statement out that I found on the internet. So personally, I'm never touching an own shake again until that gets resolved. I wish this was a win. It tasted okay. Everything seemed to check out and then I saw that. Thank you guys. One of my comments on a previous video smartened me up to that. So I did the research and it's legit. That's a hard pass.